let's play while sitting at home. We invite you to participate in the traveling game Kazakh Quest and test your knowledge about your favorite city, learn new facts, be surprised and have a laugh. 12 cities of Kazakhstan and celebrities who agreed to complete the quest. Brave and smart travelers, how much patience, strength and knowledge they need to stay in the game. One city, two chances for a clue, three tasks, four blitz questions and five most beautiful places in each city. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go! Meet 30 years old Aydin Jasubai. Although he's an engineer in hydrogeology by training, he's worked as a television and radio presenter all his life. Aydin is a real nomad. He was born in Taraz, finished school in Shimkent and graduated from university in Almaty. He spent a few years working in Nur Sultan and then returned to Almaty. Aydin is confident that he knows everything about the cities he lived in. He knows where he can rent a flat at the best price, what market is open late, and how to get to Medeo by bus. Well, let's check if it's true. In this game, Aydin will be given three tasks and have an opportunity to get a clue by making a call and asking people to help him. You'll find out in this program where I then will manage to succeed in Kazakh Quest. Hello everyone, we are starting Kazakh Quest Journey Game. I am playing in Almaty today. In this program, I'm going to walk a lot, suffer and not get enough to eat. As for you, dear viewers, you are going to see the most interesting places of Kazakhstan. Probably you'll be surprised to find out that these places are located in your hometown. I am starting my journey from Almaty, the greenest and most populous city of Kazakhstan. All of us who have moved here from other places associate Almaty with fountains, irrigation ditches, mountains, apples and Soviet architecture. It is said that this city is unique and has a special atmosphere. Well, I'll be able to check it out today. Here we go. Almaty is located at the foot of Transili Alatau at the height of 6 to 900 meters above sea level. As soon as you go out for a walk, you immediately realize that the city slopes. It's very easy to navigate by the mountains, which Almaty residents always do. If you ask them for directions, they don't tell you to go to north or south. Instead, they just say, go up or down this street. Irrigation ditches are a distinctive feature of Almaty. Previously, they were used not only to irrigate vegetable gardens and streets, but also provided water necessary for cooking. The central irrigation ditch was where Abai Street is now. It provided the city with water. There are over 130 fountains in the city. They used to be made near large buildings to provide natural air conditioning. Now fountains are considered another symbol of Almaty, similar to airport apples or mountains. I've invited a special person who can help me to pursue this quest. Her name is Norgul Asanova. I'm sure I'll get lost in this noisy hot city without her help and lose the game, which I certainly don't want. I want to solve all the riddles and find myself in another city. I think it's Norgul approaching. Hello, Norgul. Welcome. My congratulations. You are participating in the game now. You'll find some things and a gadget which will give you tasks in this backpack. Thank you. How long have you lived in Almaty? This year it will be 20 years. You say it's been 20 years. I'm sure you've seen all the interesting places of Almaty over these 20 years. What do you like about the city? I like Almaty's aura. It's life, residence and nature. Thank you. So, dear viewers, Norgul Asanova is a real professional who has long been engaged in tourism. Besides, she has lived in Almaty for long. I hope she'll help me succeed in pursuing this quest, right? Of course. You'll help me, won't you? Yes. Thank you. 
Listen attentively to the first task. Find an urban garden, which can be a place of quiet where everyone can find shelter. Do you have any ideas? It's difficult. Almaty is called a city and garden because it has about 10 parks and over 130 green areas. I'll spend a lot of time if I visit all of them. It's true. Almaty is a real green city. It's difficult to believe, but almost every tree in this city was planted by human hands. There used to be a step in this place 200 years ago. What park is the most popular here? I guess there are a few of them. They are First President Park, the Botanical Gardens, Gorky Park and the Park of 28 Panfil of Guardsmen. When reading about Almaty, I found out that the Park of 28 Panfil of Guardsmen used to be called Urban Garden. Maybe it's better to start with it. Do you agree? Let's try. We are going together, right? Perfect. Let's go then. We shouldn't waste time. The fortification Verni was established 166 years ago. Later, it grew into the largest metropolis of the country. However, people had lived in the area called Almaty for centuries before the fortification was established. The archaeological finds prove the fact that people did live here. Scientists discovered remains of a few ancient settlements here. A city has been here 1,000 years ago. The city minted coins and was located on the Great Silk Road. Almaty's 1,000th anniversary was celebrated in 2015. Bruni was renamed Almata, which translated as Apple's father from Kazakh in 1921. The capital was moved from Kizilorda to Almata six years later. Almata was far from the front line during the Second World War. As a result, people were evacuated to the city from the whole USSR. Thanks to that, plants, scientific centers, theaters and many other buildings appeared in the city. The Soviet name Alma-Ata was changed into the correct Kazakh variant Almaty, which is an adjective of apple tree in the early 1990s. Although it seems to be an easy task, there must be a catch in it. Almaty is a city and garden. Can they mean the whole city? It's large and everyone finds a shelter in it. I've read that about 2 million people live in the city now. If you include the added districts too, then the population reaches 2,400,000 and it shows. That's right! Thus we're getting to the solution by tube. By tube? When I arrived in the city, the first thing I found out was that the Almaty tube opened in 2011. Now it has nine stations and transports 40,000 people daily. The main thing is that Almaty residents are really proud of the underground. Approaching one of the oldest parks of Almaty. It was renamed more than seven times. I'm sure my task, my second task is hidden somewhere here. I just feel it. Before Almaty became a city, a cemetery and park were in this area. The park was called Old Cemetery Park. Later, the park was joined with Cathedral 1 and got called Urban Garden. Later, it was renamed Pushkin Garden. Then it was done the Park of Fallen Freedom Fighters, after that Lenin Local Park, and in 1942 the park got the name of 28 Panfil of Guardsmen, to commemorate the heroic deed performed during the Second World War. Great! Although these nesting boxes aren't for birds, people keep putting grains there. They put grains there, right? 
It's a community book exchange project. It's aimed at providing the people who come to the park with an opportunity to read books. It's great! Various books are brought here now. May I? Of course! Perhaps it's one of the most famous sites of Almaty, the Ascension Cathedral. You mean this building, right? Yes. Do you know that it's one of the six tallest wooden buildings in the world? It's very interesting. The earthquake that hit Verney, contemporary Almaty, leveled the whole city, which mainly had one-story buildings, but didn't destroy the cathedral. Was it because it was built without nails? When people say that the cathedral was built without nails, they mean the framework and beams fastened together with movable clamps. The 1910 earthquake, which destroyed almost the whole city, only led to broken glass in the cathedral and a bent dome. Pay attention to the crosses. Small mirrors are attached to them to make them look transparent. Sunset beautifully reflects here in the evenings. Oddly enough, two graves have remained in one of the most popular parks of Almaty, although burials were stopped here in 1930. The graves remained without gravestones for a long time until they were restored 10 years ago. Tombstones to those who died in the 1887 earthquake were returned. After the disaster, a mass grave was dug in the cemetery, which is why there are two tombstones here. One of them is Muslim and the other Christian. It's a very beautiful place. However, it seems to me it isn't what we're looking for. I don't see a garden here. It's a park after all. Probably we should use a clue. Although I do like this song by Butter Khan very much, it didn't help me to solve the riddle at all. Actually, I got confused even more. Let's walk to Jibek Jolie Street. It'll help us to find the next location. Butter Khan Shukanov was a talented Kazakh singer, composer and saxophonist. He sang his songs in the Kazakh and Russian languages. He's known as both the soloist of a studio group and a solo artist. But their Khan worked as a saxophonist together with famous singer Rosa Rimbaeva. The first name of his group was Almata, then it was renamed Almata Studio, and finally the name was shortened to A Studio. But here became its lead singer. Unfortunately, Butter Khan Shukanov died of a heart attack on April the 28th, 2015. Few thousand people came to pay their last respects to the singer. A lot of artists and politicians from Kazakhstan and Russia were among them. Batir passed away five years ago, but citizens of Kazakhstan didn't forget him. Batir Kanshukanov Young Talent Competition is held. Julia sculpture appeared in Uralsk, and a monument was erected in his hometown Kazilorda. A mural depicting Batir has appeared in Aksai recently. While the memory lingers on, flash mob has been held this year and people sang their favorite songs of the singer all over the world. Great! There is a place in Almaty where people can honor Butter Khan's memory too. This place is the Memory Wall. Any person can come here, leave his wish to Butter Khan, lay flowers, and even write their favorite song lyrics on the wall. That's great! Why did you choose exactly this place? Baigali Sirkebaev, founder of A Studio Group, had a flat here at one time. Everyone gathered here to spend evenings together and hold friends' meetings and rehearsals. Butter's songs say how much he loved Almaty, don't they? However, I begin to think that the riddle solution isn't hidden in the city itself. Actually, it may be much easier, and we just need to get to the main garden. It seems you're getting the right idea. 
In this case, dear viewers, we're going to the botanical gardens. As far as I know, it has been restored recently and looks beautiful now. Let's go! Yes, let's go! The botanical gardens covering the area of 108 hectares was founded nearly 100 years ago. During such a long period of time, the gardens didn't undergo any full-scale renovations. However, a public fund allocated a significant sum of money to the renovation a few years ago. As a result, new entrances, ponds with artesian water, fountains and even amphitheater appeared here. It's nice that these surfaces aren't covered with asphalt any longer. Dear viewers, look, this is eco-friendly granite. It feels like you're walking in a forest. New inhabitants appeared here too. Very few couples of white swans and some ducks. Norgul, I noticed it some time ago. It looks like some art object. It really does. At first glance, it does look like a beautiful two-meter high art object but actually it has many useful functions. For example, its main function is providing a shelter in cold weather. Is it? That's great! There are 11 of them in total. The rooms have everything for a comfortable living, including branches, bricks and flagstones. So it provides a shelter and is located in a garden. Dear viewers, it seems I found the solution. The urban garden that has provided a shelter for everyone is the botanical gardens, aren't they? Dear viewers, you can congratulate me. I found the correct answer. The opening of the gardens after renovation turned out to be an important event for the city residents. Both school children and adults visited this place for free during summer holidays. A lot of plants grow here now, and it's home for birds and animals. This gardens indeed is a shelter for everyone. The scenery is stunning here. Congratulations! You've completed the first task. Attention please, this is the second task. You can see a crown, but it does not belong to a king. It provides people with a roof over their heads. Tradesmen of the whole Kazakhstan see it every day. Hmm, I've heard about a place in Almaty where tradesmen have a roof over their heads. Kog Bazaar is one of the largest and oldest markets in Almaty. Probably the riddle solution is hidden there. It was built almost 150 years ago, and you could meet tradesmen from all over the world there. It was the central place where people from the whole city gathered at weekends. You could find Chinese tea, veroni stout, shark fin soup, lots of fruit and vegetables, and of course, famous Almaty A port. By the way, do you know that there were used to be more than 30 types of Almaty A port apples? Kog Bazaar still remains the main market of the city, but it certainly doesn't have an oval shape. Who else can wear a crown? Can it be a monument? When going on a vehicle, I saw the independence monuments, and it was a person with a pointed hat on his head. Kazakh Quest, give me information about the monument. The Golden Man statue is one of the symbols of Kazakhstan's independence. It's a statue of a Saka warrior. He has a pointed headgear decorated with golden plates and plaques with images of animals and trees on them. The 5000 Tengi banknote features the Golden Warrior and Kazakhstan Hotel, another symbol of the city. Then, it's not a crown. What could that be? 
The task is getting more and more complicated, but I must find the answer to this riddle, or otherwise I will not go to other cities. Okay, so what do salespeople love? They love money! Why didn't I realize it earlier? The money! The 5000 Tengi note features the Kazakhstan Hotel. Then, I'm going there. Almaty is called a cultural capital of Kazakhstan for a reason. Almaty residents know a lot about pleasures. It's the largest and greenest metropolis of the country. There are 14 theaters, 25 museums and over 30 cinemas in Almaty. Exhibitions and street festivals are held in Almaty every year. The city has a full life. Of course, due to the pandemic, all the events had to be stopped. In spite of this, you feel that celebrations will never end here. My congratulations! You've solved the second riddle. Thank you! I managed it thanks to your help. Now look, the task connected with the third location isn't far from here. Yes? This place is unique. If you found yourself here 170 years ago, you'd have seen Shreng's spruce forest here. In this place? Yes, exactly here. The cathedral and a lot of historical buildings of the city were built of it. A big irrigation ditch was where Abai Street is now. Our grandparents did not only swim there, but also fished. It was so interesting. Did they do that right here, in Abai Street? The skiing history of our city began from Koktebe Hill. That's great! Let's focus on the hotel history, as I'm ready to solve the next puzzle. Almaty became a city in 1867, but no one constructed tall buildings here due to the earthquakes. Four-story buildings were the tallest ones in our city. I need help. Kazakh Quest. Give me information about the Kazakhstan Hotel. There is a story about Dinmukhamed Konaev. After his visit to Budapest, where he stayed in the large Danubius Hotel, he suggested building a similar hotel in Almaty. They decided it would be perfect if the mountains could be seen from all the hotel rooms. The hotel project was changed. It became oval-shaped and 25 stories high. Is it true that the crown wasn't planned in the first project? Why did they make it? During the construction, they found out that the elevator shaft on the roof was seen even from the ground, so they decided to cover it with golden cladding. Many people connect the appearance of the crown with finding the remains of the golden man in the Isig burial mound. It happened in 1970, and the golden man wearing a tall hat became a symbol of Kazakhstan. Yes, have you seen it? I was right when I recalled the Independence Monument. This hotel is considered the first skyscraper located in a high seismic hazard zone and a symbol of our city. The Kazakhstan Hotel was the tallest building in Almaty until 2008. What a big boulder! Why do you think it's in the city center? Go to the place where these stones were brought from, reach the clouds and find the solution there. I have no idea where these stones came from. What if they're from Ural or Mangistau? It's too early for me to go there. I have to solve the riddle properly, don't I? You can ask city residents. It's a good idea. Let's go. Hello. Hello. May I ask you a couple of questions? Of course you may. Are you from Almaty? Yes, I am. How long have you lived in Almaty? I've lived here for nearly 30 years. 30 years? Great. I want to ask you how these huge stones appeared near the Kazakhstan Hotel. As far as I remember, according to older people, a mud flow ran here in 1921. The older people said that the stones rolled to these places then. Did it happen to both the huge and small stones? 
they were swept away, while all the large stones remained here, right? Exactly. Great. Thank you for your answer. Have a nice day. Thank you. Goodbye. Catastrophic mud flows occurred a few times in our city. They usually happen in summer, when the water level in moraine lakes increases due to the high air temperature and rains. As a result, a torrent of stones, mud and water rushes down. What's the air temperature today? You know, I'd look at the size of the stones and feel scared. The first mud flow occurred in summer of 1921. It ran down the Kishi Almaty River and nearly reached the city center. Cobblestones battered down whole quarters. Over five hours, a significant part of Almata was left in ruins and covered with mud and stones. About 500 people died. If you go along Dostik Street, you will see a lot of similar boulders. The next mud flow happened 50 years later, in 1973. The Medeo mud flow control dam prevented it from breaching the city. I think you can solve the riddle in Medeo. Do you mean I'll go there alone? Yes. So I need to go up along Dostig Street, right? Yes. Well, then I wish you happiness. Thank you very much. See you. Well, I need to go up the mountains as high as possible, almost get to the clouds and win the victory there. It sounds easy. Bus journey from the center of Almaty to Medeo takes only 30 minutes. Shimbalak is located higher than Medeo. It means it takes few hours to see all these places, which makes Almaty one of the unique cities of the world. Now I'm at the corner of Dostik Street and Kurmangazi Street, opposite the Kazakhstan Hotel. It's the bus stop of Route 12 bus. Its terminus is near the Medeo skating rink. A taxi ride to the skating rink costs approximately 2,500 to 3,000 tenge. Well, let's have a ride. Dear viewers, while going to Medeo, I'd like to answer short quiz questions. What was the first name of the city? Bernie. Who was the outstanding Kazakh poet and philosopher after whom one of the main streets in Almaty was named? Abai Kunanbai Uli, Grandfather Abai. As for the streets, what's the longest street in the city? Seyfudin Street, right? Where was Kazakhstan's first film Amangildi shot? Film Amangildi? Well, a lot of films were shot in Kazakh film. So my answer is Kazakh film. The skating rink and area itself bear the name of the outstanding figure of Verni Epoch Medeo Pusurmanov. The high mountain sports complex Mendao is located at the height of 1,691 meters above sea level. Once a head coach of the USSR national team noticed that Kazakhstan's skaters showed better results when skating in Almaty than in Siberia. When he started asking the skaters questions, all of them answered that the ice was more slippery in their homeland. To check it out, they flooded a skating rink in Almaty and held a competition there. The coaches hard they managed to hide their surprise when they saw that the results all the skaters showed surpassed their personal bests. After that, a decision to build a new skating rink in Amata was made. 20 minutes later, we found ourselves at the Midao bus stop. Look at this beautiful scenery and breathe in the fresh air. Here it is, the most famous skating rink of Kazakhstan. By the way, don't get alarmed if your ears feel clogged. After all, we've just climbed 800 meters. The skating rink opened on February the 4th, 1951, and two world and six all-union records were established the next day. Only natural ice was used there, which is why the skating rink was open only for three months a year. 
I've read a funny story about the skating rink. Brezhnev arrived in Alma Tain, summer 1973. He had to approve the budget allocated for the dam reinforcement after the mud flow. It was decided to organize an ice show performed by well-known figure skaters at the Medau skating rink to gain his favor. However, it was happening in August. The refrigeration system had provided ice by 9 a.m., but the commission was late. They arrived at lunchtime, and the figure skaters had to skate on a bumpy surface covered with water, and only their remarkable skills saved them from falls. In any case, the general secretary was pleased, and the funding issue was settled very quickly. 47 records were set on the skating rink over 17 seasons, and as a result, Medell was called the Forge of Records. It is a beautiful place. However, according to the task, I need to climb higher to approach the clouds. The Shimbulak Ski Resort is located over Medell at the height of 2,260 meters above sea level. I think I'll certainly find the clouds and stones there. There are a few ways to get to Shimbulak from here. You can go by minibus, gondola lift, or go on foot. Let's go and have a look together. Of course, I'll go on foot. Wow, what a climb! Come on, keep going. These steps lead to the dam and are called health stairs. It's written here that there are either 847 or 846 steps. Why does it contain inaccuracy? I guess I'll go and count them myself. Finally, we've got here. There are 838 or 832, I don't remember. In the 20th century, Almaty was considered one of the most mud flow prone regions of the USSR, together with the Caucasus. The main problem is the harsh continental climate of the region. During hot summers, glaciers melt, filling moraine lakes with water. When pouring rain falls in summer, the lakes overflow with water. As a result, water streams run down the gorge. As we found out earlier, a mud flow had occurred in the city in 1921. A lot of city residents remembered it and feared that it could happen again. In spite of this, the work on the dam project was postponed all the time. Only a dike was built in 1933 and then the war began. Afterwards, they lacked money. However, it was impossible to build a dam over a season. Meanwhile, the Moraine Lake's water volume was increasing quickly, posing a threat to the city. Then they made a decision to quickly create a dam with the help of an explosion. The explosive, weighing over 5,000 tons, was planted at the depth of 150 meters. The first explosion took place on October the 21st, 1966. People and animals were evacuated from the blast radius, which was 9 kilometers. Of course, some mistakes happened too. Mudflow traps got filled with rocks very fast. In any case, people said that the city was safe. The mudflow occurred a few years later, on July the 15th, 1973. It destroyed the first barrier over a few seconds, but the dam stopped it. After that, the second level of the dam was built urgently to protect the Medao skating rink. On August the 2nd, the river was blocked and the course of it was changed. We still can see a huge cavity produced by the explosion and the trees which grew there. Now the Medao Dam protects Almaty residents from a mudflow. I understood everything about the dam and can go further. Oh, I'm so tired.
When the members of the commission looking for a place to build the first surface lift in the USSR arrived in Almaty, they were taken to Shimbulak. The commission liked the place, and it was decided to build a sports center here. The first three-kilometer-long downhill course was laid in 1954. Shimbulak is located at the height of 2,260 meters. This place is unique because its slopes have a good terrain suitable for both novices and professionals. In 1961, competitions held only in Shimbulak were organized. Skiing enthusiasts and the strongest downhill skiers of the Soviet Union participated in them. I've read that the way from the Medeo skating rink to Shimbolang presented the major difficulty for the athletes. It was practically impossible for vehicles in winter. Can you imagine that those who wished to ski had to cover a distance of approximately 51 kilometers on foot? We are lucky to live in 2020, when it takes less than an hour to get to Shimbolak. The resort renovation was started in preparation for the 2011 Asian Winter Games. The total length of the courses was doubled. During the renovation, a 4.5-kilometer-long gondola lift was built from Medeo to Shimbulak. There are two hybrid lifts, gondola lift and chairlift, Combi 1 and Combi 2, a surface lift and two four-person chairlifts. Dear viewers, it seems I haven't reached the clouds yet. I want to climb farther. Let's go! The big Talgar Pass is situated at the height of 3,200 meters above